Here we go. In the world of international crime, an agent attempts to hunt down and capture the world's most wanted art thief. That's the summary for Red Notice. You thought that was for Lyft. Don't lie to me. <laughs> What's up, Netflix fans? Welcome back to the channel. As always, I'm talking the brand new Netflix movie or TV show, and today's is Lyft, not spelled with a Y. This stars Kevin Hart. It's a heist film, and, well, we'll talk about it. Can I get you a drink, Gabby? Agent Gladwell. Am I in trouble? You and your friends. An international heist crew that steals art. There you go. Is recruited to prevent a terrorist attack and must pull off the heist on a plane mid-flight. Like I said, this stars Kevin Hart. It is rated PG-13 for language, violence, and action suggestive material. And it's directed by F. Gary Gray, director of Men in Black International, The Fate of the Furious, Law Abiding Citizen. That's a good one. The Italian Job and Straight Outta Compton, which was one of my favorite movies of that year. But we're talking specifically this type of genre the Fate of the Furious. All right, he's done that, but he also did the Italian job. So let's see which category this falls in. And Lyft is a classic Netflix heist movie where you gather together a bunch of very famous individuals, really great character actors. Vincent D'Onofrio is in this movie, folks. He's really good. Well, he's good in other movies. He's fine here. Billy Magnuson, who I love, he's fine. Sam Worthington, who has proven it before, he's fine. Kevin Hart, I always want to see him take on something a little more dramatic. We've seen examples, and they have worked, and I actually really like it. He's fine. He's fine. Everybody in this is fine. Gugu Mbatha-Ross, she probably gives the best performance of the entire movie, and her character is the most interesting because there is a bit of a moral dilemma with her character. I had a dilemma this morning. Should I fix my hair or wear this hat? I chose this hat. They'll never know what you sacrificed for them. And frankly, that along with one or two standout scenes that feature action sequences that are pretty fun, right? This isn't an action movie. It's much more of a heist-centric film. Uh, we don't get it that often. If that's what you're looking for, you're not going to get it. If you're looking for dialogue that feels just a little bit on the meaningless side, well, you're in luck. I read the summary for Red Notice before this review started. It feels like every year on Netflix specifically, we get a heist movie with a story cast. I think of Red Notice. I think of Six Underground. I think of Army of the Dead. I liked Army of the Dead. I will keep saying that until I die. We don't care. Let me tell, right, let me tell you <laughs> We don't care. It at least had some style too. But those other two movies and countless more that I, I can't think of because they are, say it with me folks, forgettable, uh, they fall into that same category. And unfortunately, Lyft is the exact same thing. Almost the exact same plot you have a lot of really talented actors who are somewhat wasted in this movie. A leading man who has it in him, has that charisma and that comedic element, especially with Kevin Hart, that isn't utilized as often in this film. They play him as more of the straight man, which I thought was a very confusing choice for his character. And even the jokes or the gags or the ha-has and the hee-hees that we get... Well, they aren't that funny. You're more focused on the team, the camaraderie, and the camaraderie is there between them, especially when we see them all in the same place, but we don't really get any individuality between the characters. Like, I can't remember any of their names. I just watched the movie like an hour ago. I can't recall one name, Abby, because she was the most interesting one, and there's a little bit of a spark there between she and Kevin Hart's character, Cyrus, like Miley. <laughs> And that kind of comes down to the script, the personalities of these characters, they're somewhat there, but beyond that, there's nothing to them to get you to care more than just a surface level attachment, which is all you need if you're putting this movie on in the background and you just want a couple of fun sequences. I'm not going to say it's the worst movie, I mean, of the year, because Night Swim came out, uh, but it's so bland and forgettable if you are trying to find any attachment to these characters, you're going to struggle. Uh, you will the actors, because again, Vincent D'Onofrio, like him a lot. Kevin Hart, we know who Kevin Hart is, but he's playing a part. And that part has to have some substance, and it just doesn't. As well as the storyline that we are following. And once again, our crew of, you know, bad guys, but they kind of do the right thing and they're making everybody rich while they're at it. We see that at the beginning of the film. They're going on a mission until that mission is halted by the government. And then they say, okay, you know what? We're going to help you out with this. We're going to work together and we're going to stop 
the real bad guys, even though we're the bad guys, and we still, there are worse bad guys who kill. I don't know. I mean, I love this guy. Anytime this guy is in a movie, he's creepy, and he does that well, but again, I just don't know. I mean, he went away for a long time and then popped back up at the end, so, okay. Some genres can get away with movies that just don't stand out or are overly familiar. We've seen countless Oceans movies and countless heist films in general. The more recent one that sticks out to me is Baby Driver, even though that cast is suspect, but that film had some style and some edge to it. This really doesn't have that. It doesn't push any boundaries. There's nothing memorable about the look and feel. The visuals as a whole, they're fine, but there are certain moments with green screen, it's like, yeah, that, that doesn't look all that great. And by the time you get to the end, I was struggling to even remember what their mission was in the first place. And Sam Worthington popped up. I'm like, wow, was he, was he already in this? I think he was. Oh boy. Before I give you my score, what do you think of Lyft? And how do you compare it to Uber? Boom. And if you want to support this video, dropping a like would be awesome. Lyft is an overly familiar and by the numbers heist flick on Netflix that features a stacked cast, yet the script fails to make anyone memorable. The moments between the cast is a highlight, but the story is forgettable at best. It's a harmless background watch. Again, it's not the worst movie in the genre. Trust me on that one. Uh, and I don't think it's the worst thing in the world that it's forgettable. But that's what it is. It's it's kind of forgettable, and I'm excited to see what Kevin Hart does next. And uh, Vincent D'Onofrio, Kingpin. Okay, that's cool, I guess. Thanks so much for watching. I'll be back with another review this weekend. I'll see you soon.